What's up dudes? Max here and once again some pretty crazy news. Um, so over the past year or so I've been talking to these guys and talking to a lot of indie developers on fighting games, helping out some of these dudes with this stuff like playtesting their game, giving them tips and stuff like that. Even having the chance to actually work on one like Yatagarasu and within all these indie games coming on, all the, any of the ones that look really cool I want to do my best to kind of highlight and help out. And the one that really caught my eye last year, and I played an early, early version of it, was Beast's Fury. I really didn't know much about the game at all for quite a long time, and then I started playing it and talking to the developers, and like, this seems kind of a cool idea, because what they're pitching is a game that's essentially the spiritual successor to Bloody Roar. And Bloody Roar is a game where you can have 3D characters, kind of in a 3D, uh, like, environment-style fighter, where you have these dudes and these girls chained into animals at certain points and stuff like that. And they're kind of doing something a little similar with, like, bipedal animal characters fighting each other in the vein of something like Bloody Roar. I don't know if we're gonna see anything about Bloody Roar anytime soon from Sony. Um, I've made videos hopefully requesting that they do something with that because that'd be an amazing franchise to resurrect. And this might just be the best thing we're gonna see in regards to anything like this. And what's really impressed me so far, and after I took a look at it about a month ago, they were showing me some of the new uh, design stuff that they were doing as far as animation and stuff like that. I gave them a few notes back in the day, just like casually helping them out. And they, they actually took a lot of this stuff to heart, and I started seeing the animation style and what the characters do and how they act and stuff like that, and I'm like, Wow, you guys made quite a difference. Um, if you look at some of like the animation tests they have going on right now, for certain characters, they don't have a lot of characters yet because it's a very heavily animated style game. It's in the vein of a lot of other 2D animated style games that are handcrafted right now, like a ton of in-betweens, a lot of animation, really fluid looking characters, and I could pretty much get behind this because that's the stuff that I majored in in college for quite a long time. And I do want to see this game made, not only for the fact that these guys have shown a lot of passion and hard work for what they're doing, they came to me earlier this week, and I finally get to announce it right now, and it's officially on the Kickstarter. These guys want to make Benny an actual character in Beast's Fury. Like, no shit, not a background character, not something like, you know, an announcer or something like that. They want to make Benny a fully-fledged character. And all I can say is, if you look at the game right now, and you look at some of the pencil tests and some of the animation tests they have going on for some of these characters, like finishing moves, and some of their basic animations where they, like, jump around, they do their stuff, and they have these giant, big, like, fatality kind of moves, just imagine what we could come up with Benny. Um, it'd be amazing to do something like that, to work with you guys directly, get feedback as far as what Benny's move lists could be, how he acts in the game, and to top it off, they actually want me to voice the character as well. And once they started explaining this to me that, you know, making Benny an actual character, I started getting ridiculously excited. They came back really quick with the design of Benny based off the costume that we recently had him wear on a live stream the other week, and I'm like, this is, this is too damn cool. I think this is potentially freaking awesome to finally get Benny into a fighting game, and I'd prefer it to be Benny than myself. I think this is freaking amazing. Let me know what you guys think about this. You can check out their Kickstarter link below in the comments. I think their initial goals are, are not too high. They're trying to get stuff done to get the initial character demos and animations out because that's the stuff that's the most expensive. And a lot of other fighting games that are 2D and have a lot of animation behind them, we've seen in the past, can be very expensive. And I think Benny is the first, um, the first like, stretch goal for the game. So we'll see how it goes. All I know is that Beast's Fury already kind of has this cult following of a lot of dudes following what's happening with the game. And I'll be doing my best as soon as they come online with mechanics and stuff like that to, to kind of assist them with this stuff. Um, I just want to help them out. I think it's important to have these indie developers do stuff with the community. And dude, if Benny can possibly be involved, Involved. Oh my god, I, I'm getting excited just thinking about the different things that they could potentially come up with as far as animations for Benny and stuff like that. Either way, guys, let me know what you think about Beast's Fury. It's up on the Kickstarter right now, and I think there's different tiered versions if you want to get a hold of the game. Between like $10, $15, and $20, they're doing their best to get as many characters as they possibly can. This might be the only chance we ever actually see Benny in a fighting game, so check it out on Kickstarter if you guys get a chance. And if you want to just help out with the project in any way at all, the best thing you can do for any of these indie type of projects is just to let people know that it even exists. Thank you dudes very much for watching, and as soon as something else comes up that looks pretty damn cool on the indie front for fighting games, I'll let you guys know. Take care folks, and I'll see you next time.